I'm Jasmine and I come from the Satu region in the NWT and I would just like to say welcome in my native tongue, which is Slavey. Uh, Dagonte. Welcome. When I came through the gates, it was just like going to Hogwarts or something. It was just this brand new environment that made me feel like I'm, I'm going into this new chapter of my life that I don't know anything about, but I'm ready to take on this challenge. For sure, I was a bit skeptical at the start, but as soon as I got on campus, I remember looking over to my mom and I'm saying like, I'm going here. So when I toured in Shawnigan, it was really nice. I liked the community of it all. There was a birthday that day, so they sang happy birthday and they had some ice cream cake and everyone was sitting in the common room just talking and laughing and sharing all these jokes. And you could really see like the sense of community that was in there. My advice to someone coming that is like feeling a little bit nervous or like kind of doubting themselves is everyone feels that way when they come. Like I felt that way because I came a month late into grade eight. And so coming in the middle of the year after everyone has already settled down and knowing that everyone probably already had their friend groups, Seanigan still like opened their arms and welcomed me. I was able to fit in like like that. Like the environment is like so positive, so supportive. The people here never made me feel homesick. I now realize like how much I built up on my leadership skills and everything. On my first day, I didn't even speak my English like this. And right now like I can speak English well. And then also like I can like uh, confidently share my knowledge with like the students back home in Nepal. I think the boarding system here is what sets us apart from other schools. The girls in the house are like sisters to me. I think what made my family feel good about choosing Seanigan uh, was getting a little glimpse into the boarding life. It's, uh, it's a very unique aspect of the school, one that you expect to be quite stagnant but is the complete opposite. It's so lively and I mean you hear this a lot but when I say I have 55 brothers in the house, I, can, I completely mean it. I have a shoulder to cry on, I have somebody to laugh with, I have all the support that I need in the house. So you have that kind of home away from home. I would say to choose Seanigan over any other boarding school because of the community we have here. We have amazing staff, we have amazing students, and we have just a, just a great lifestyle here at Seanigan. Um, we have a roommate that's, that becomes your best friend by the end of the year and becomes basically your brother or sister. In Renfrew, there's about 60 girls in there and they're from like all over the world. We're like a mixing pot. Like we just put all different kinds of people together and we have all these different interests, all these different hobbies and all these, these different ideas and ways of seeing the world. We, we're really tight knit. We're always in each other's rooms, always talking, always having a good time, always cooking, always eating, and it's just, it's warm. It's like a home. Shangan Academics pushes me and supports me because um, of the teachers here, I'd say. I'm thankful that they're always like open to tutorial times and like free time for me to talk to them. Like I can send them an email whenever and they'll respond. Something that is different about Shawnigan is that you get so much support, like academically. There are tutorials, you can meet up with your teachers if you have any questions and if you email your teacher and you're like, hey, like I need help with this and I need support, like it'll be there. Yeah, the original reason why I came to Shawnigan was actually for the Learning Center or LC. The LC has supported me by taking my learning disability of dyslexia and making it a positive. It has taught me that I am extremely organized and hardworking. Yeah, so I think the reason that I came to Seanigan and, and came to tour was mostly because of hockey. It's nice that during COVID we can have the certainty of a normal practice schedule. We had a huge advantage of having a rink here uh, with unlimited ice. The facilities are amazing. The workout area upstairs is 
second to none. So when I first got in Shawnigan, everyone was like talking about rugby and then on that time I was like, what is rugby? Like no clue at all. And I was like, I have to do this because I love competitive sports. Finance that I've taken while I've been here was sewing. I was in baking, I've been in service, I did figure skating for a little while. I've taken graphic arts, I've taken a little bit of woodwork, studio art, <laughs> and just going around and like finding what I like to do is really important, but it's also nice getting to collect a bit of skills and a little bit of everything. It's not often that you'll get as many opportunities like there are here, and so for me, I was, I just took every opportunity I saw. When I first stepped into the music building, I was just amazed. We have a world-class recording studio, and we have these amazing staff that are so experienced and so talented. Steve Smith, um, a Grammy Award-winning staff, has helped me record songs. I don't think I would ever get that outside of Shawnigan. The observatory, I think, is so special. I think it's such a unique experience. So I actually created the Observatory Fine Art of Astrophotography. Uh, one of the teachers in Shawnigan, Mr. Mays, approached me for doing astrophotography in grade 10, and I did my first image, which was the Orion Nebula, and I was absolutely hooked after that. The chapel is the heart and soul of Shawnigan. I'm not a religious person myself, but it is the place where I evolved as a person. We have compelling speeches by students or staff, or we have just an amazing musical presentation every week that we are so lucky to get to see. It is not just a church, it is a community hub. Singing at Shawnigan is definitely cool. I know when I came here the first thing the first piece of paper that was on my desk was the house hymn. The grade 12s came in my room and you're like, you're memorizing this. So our hymn is How Great Thou Art and we sing it like nobody's business. The backbone of our house spirit comes from our house hymn because when we're doing inner house, when we're waving the flag around, the first thing that we go to chant is our house hymn. And you know, who would have thought, right, that singing hymns in chapel would be cool, but uh, for sure, it, it, it's cool at Shawnigan to sing hymns.